Joining us via Skype to discuss this alleged invasion and the implication is Saidu Bashir, a public affairs analyst. Pleasure to have you on the news. Thank you for having me. Good the, morning. Good morning. The Amadjuri saga and its attendance challenges have been an age-long issue. Make us understand the concept and how it has been abused. Well, uh, to get a clear perspective of uh, the al Chi system, I mean, this is a system that has been in existence since the 18th, between the 18th and 19th century. And at that time, you know, the whole idea was uh, for parents to, you know, send their children to seek Islamic uh, knowledge. But over the years, I mean, with the modernization and all sorts, um, it has become more and more difficult. So you, ha you find you know, uh, children and some of those people now having to migrate to urban areas. And that's where the problem, you know, has um, arisen. So what we have now is the whole al Majerinchi system has been uh, hijacked. It's become like a business because people are now profiting off uh, this, uh, this, this venture. They send those kids, you know, to the urban areas. They gather them in trucks ferry them to those places to go beg. So they beg to feed, and they have to make returns back to their sponsors. So it's a very organized uh, system that has been hijacked from the original concept for which it was, uh, it was formed. What's your thoughts on the repatriation that has been embarked by various states' government um, because they fear uh, that these children might get the virus? Apparently, they have, as it stands. So... What's your thought on all of these movements? Uh, well, um, repatriating them, I, I don't think, is the problem. They are a vulnerable group, I agree. Uh, we need to address that issue. We need to, um, maybe if we need to quarantine them, educate them, they are Nigerians anyway, and there's, uh, they're entitled to, to migrate to anywhere they want to. Uh, rather than isolating and uh, uh, stigmatizing them, we should find a way to integrate them into, into the system. Otherwise, they will still come back and hunt us. They are a vulnerable group that if they are not dealt with, I mean, we're talking about a population of over 7 million uh, young people between the age of 5 and 26. So if you move them back to Kano, eventually they will find their way back because that divide will still grow. So it's better we deal with this problem once and for all. Give them education, give them a means of livelihood, maybe some kind of uh, vocational trade or something, you know. Otherwise, the problem will still come back to hunt us. All right, let's look at some of uh, the efforts. The administration of former President Goodluck Jonathan came up with the Amajiri Model Schools to cater for uh, the, these children what states are these schools now and whose responsibility is it to revive the training program? What's your perspective generally? Well, as with so many things in our, uh, in our country here, you have very laudable uh, projects and concepts that have been uh, tried to implement. However, you know, when you don't look at the whole, uh, the uh, stakeholders, you don't carry them on, you know, train them properly. The whole benefit is lost. Yes, efforts have been made, but they have not had successes. Don't forget that I mentioned earlier that there are certain powerful groups of people who benefit from this venture as it is, and they'll do everything to sabotage the process. So if you're, um, uh, um, you know, giving third parties the responsibility to manage you know, programs like this, it is definitely bound to fail. So government has to, you know, step uh, step their foot forward and take charge rather than giving these responsibilities to third parties who otherwise have interest, financial interest in the project as it is. What possible danger or threat could they pose uh, by the alleged invasion and repatriation to some states? This... Uh, I mean, it's very apparent. These, these are uh, young people who are 
ready recruits for all sorts of things. And don't forget also, there's another danger we're not talking about. This group of people, we have people migrating. Almagiri is coming from Ghana, from Mali, from Niger. You know, they are vulnerable groups that are willing, ready, ready uh, group for recruits to Boko Haram, kidnapping and all sorts of ills that we have in the society. So rather than, you know, pushing them aside, we should uh, look for a way to address address this issue. We need to find a way to empower them, educate them. Otherwise, they would come back and hunt us, like I said. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much.